a lot of nonsense. Eh? Um, and you see John Steenhuisen as the Speaker of Parliament. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. Coming back to South Africa, um, it, the last time we spoke was quite a while ago. I think it was about a, a year in between. And things have progressed since then. What What is your opinion? How do you see... Um, do, you, what, do you have any hope, for example, the multi-party charter? Do you think this is the way forward, a good way forward for South Africa? Look, it seems to me to be quite clear that coalition lies ahead for the future of South Africa. At local government level, um, there, I understand there are now 89 town and city councils that are hung councils where nobody's got an overall majority. So they've had to form coalitions. And in most cases, they work perfectly. Where they don't work very well or, or at all is in a place like Johannesburg where the uh, ANC and the EFF, uh, together with the Patriotic Alliance, um, formed a, a, a coalition to get rid of the DA-led coalition. And uh, they put all sorts of people in. I mean, uh, the Sushi King uh, Kenny Kunene is our member of the mayoral committee charged with roads and fixing the potholes and uh, traffic and all of that. Well, it seems like a rather odd appointment to me. But what is interesting is that uh, today I read in um, uh, Business Day that the ANC is considering terminating its coalition arrangement with uh, with the EFF because it brings more embarrassment than it's worth. And the chairman of the ANC, chairperson of the ANC, uh, in the Kuraleni, has written to the, the big big knobs in the party and s asked them to reconsider because there's several uh, MMC members from the EFF uh, who have stories surrounding them about money and uh, all of that. Now, we know that that happened, has happened recently at Johannesburg. And, of course, in uh, in uh, Pretoria, Swane, um, we're still in control, uh, very marginally, but the ANC and the EFF spend all their time trying to get rid of us and to get back into power. And, uh, but... Having said all of that, it is quite clear to me that the ANC is not going to get a 50% plus majority in the election. Every single public opinion survey shows them well below 50. Some of them go down as low as 40. It just depends on what the uh, voter turnout is and all that. But, of course, in, in recent times, the, 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 voter, uh, the voting poll has, has gone down in every election. And uh, you notice that in the by-elections as well. So whether the ANC will have the guts to give the EFF the marching orders and then to take the medicine which will follow, which is to be out of power in a number of authorities, that, that remains to be seen. I don't believe it. They don't do anything for principle these days. They do it to uh, have power, to line their pockets, to have positions for all their mates. That's what it's about. So what is the alternative? Now, some suggest the, the next government is going to be uh, um, ANC and EFF in a coalition. It depends on how many uh, votes the, they each get. But uh, I saw figures today uh, of the uh, um, EFF where they're down to 9% in some polls and up to 17 in others. So now where the truth lies, I have no idea. And that's a snapshot at that particular time. It doesn't mean that that's going to happen next year. But uh, it's quite clear there's got to be a coalition government if there's no party with a majority. The DA is not likely to get 50%, 51% in the election. 
So it needs coalition partners. Um, it's sort of around 25%, uh, 26%, depending on which poll, sometimes more than that. Um, and particularly at Gauteng, the ANC is far below having a majority. So they're going to be thrown out of provincial government here, and I believe they'll be thrown out of provincial government in KZN. Now there, the IFP and the DA have already done a deal uh, that if the two together can form a coalition, that's exactly what they will do. So that's that would be interesting, having, having that province run by an IFP-DA coalition. The Western province looks increasingly strong for the DA, and Kaoting with uh, also probably a coalition. And what better than the coalition which was named the Moonshot? Um, they've sort of moved away from that. But uh, I think it's a brilliant idea. That's exactly what South Africa needs. There's a multitude of new parties. I mean, you've got Mr. Zibi, who was the newspaper editor of the Business Day, very nice chap, clever chap, got a lot to say and all of that. He's got to have his own party. Um, you've got uh, um, Musi Maimani forming his own party, Bozo, I think it is. I called it Bozo in the beginning, which was the name of uh, one of the dogs we had. But uh, <laughs> I was uh, got right. It's not Bozo, it's Bozo. It's uh, um, but, I mean, how many MPs are they likely to get? Perhaps uh, two each, something like that. And then I read in, in today's Daily Maverick uh, that Mr. CB is a pres presidential candidate, a contender, and they mentioned this one and that one, who all are presidential candidates. It's all rubbish. There are no presidential candidates because there are no presidential elections. You, everybody has to stand for parliament, and the leader of the party or coalition that can put together 201 votes for, can become the president. Now, do you seriously think Mr. Zibi or Mr. Marmani or any of these multitude of little parties could do that. It's it's nonsense. So what, one's got to consider um, how to vote. Now, our opposition pact um, says you can vote for any one of the parties in that grouping, but the but the the whole pact consists of uh, people who like minded on economics, on support for the constitution, on the rule of law, uh, for the equality of everybody, for uplifting our population, for looking after those who are unable to look after themselves, improving educational standards, improving health standards, all the good things that and, and pragmatic things that people want. We would like people to vote. Well, I would like, I talk as though I'm speaking on behalf of the DA. I'm not. Um, I... Uh, I was a leading member for many years, um, but uh, I'm a private citizen, and, but I still think that uh, the best choice would be a vote for the DA to strengthen the opposition in South Africa. And... Um yeah, the, the the thing with Rise with Zanzi is I no disrespect to a person like Zongizo Zibi. I mean, if you can get that um, dissolution ANC vote, that's amazing. If if you can get it, but I mean, I don't see it in the polls, so I don't really understand why the media seems to be out. Oh, this is the new new and upcoming uh, um, uh, Rise with Zanzi. They're going to mm. play a pivotal role, but I mean, why don't we see it in the polls? Well, and um, if at least he came into the uh, the opposition grouping, the opposition pact, um, one could say, well, perhaps he's got aspirations to be a minister or the leader or something. Um, uh, but if he stays out and is in fact opposing uh, all of us and opposing the ANC and the EFF, 
I'm not sure how much of a, a, a field there is for him to till. And the same with Moosey. No, he's a hell of a nice chap. I supported him to the hilt when he was the leader of our party. Uh, I used to try to give advice every now and then. But, you know, leaders can take the advice or not take the advice. That's uh, that's what happens. But I mean, he's, a really, he's a really decent chap. Now, people say, oh, well, you know, the, the DA is too white now. Well, I remind them then that uh, it wasn't too white to, to have a, a black leader, a credible black leader at that. And what he managed to do was put off thousands of Afrikaans-speaking voters and not attract any black voters. So he, he didn't do either. And, uh, and I think he might elect two people to Parliament himself, because he's a nice guy and he'll appeal to a lot of voters, perhaps one or two others. But uh, nothing more than that. So a vote for him is a totally wasted vote, because what is it going to do? Douglas, I'd love to hear your opinion on. I think that there was a latest um, News Twenty Four article that the that the DA is considering a sort of a coalition with the ANC, and John Steenhuisen will become the Speaker of Parliament, it, and the DA will assume chair and control of all the committees. Is there? I, I think Adrian Basson wrote this article. Is there any truth to this? Well, you know, I've got lots of respect for Adrian. I mean, he runs a very successful uh, operation. I've sort of known him on the periphery for years, and uh, he's also some good stuff. In this case, I would suggest he's writing a lot of what people, some people would, uh, I won't be rude, uh, a lot of nonsense. Huh? Um, and you see John Steenhuisen as the Speaker of Parliament. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. He's, he was a wonderful chief whip. He was one of my successes, and I was always very proud of him because I was chief whip at one time. Um, he was very good at that. He was also, he, I think he's very good at his parliamentary job as leader of the opposition, but I can't see him sitting there impartially trying to run parliament. I also can't see any party entering into a coalition like that because what you've got built in there um, it, to my mind, is a conflict between the government and the cabinet and all of that on the one hand and parliament on the other. They, they're bound to be clashing. And the speaker would not put legislation on the on the order paper because he thinks it's rubbish uh, and, and so on and so on. Then um, the, the cabinet would be busy uh, considering whether they should should chop MP salaries uh, just to punish them for being naughty. It's a, it's a nonsense. If there were to be a coalition, and I doubt it's very significant, substantially, uh, if there were to be, the parties in it would have to be part of the government and part of parliament. That's what I think. So I, I place no credence on it. If that's going on in the background, I haven't heard it. I mean, I'm reasonably well uh, in touch with John and with Helen Ziller and quite a number of the leading members of the party. Mm. Yeah, no, that's also. I, I was also a bit confused because, I mean, if the DA controls Parliament and the ANC, the national government, there's going to mm. be no synergy and then nothing's going to get done. So why would you get yourself in that position? I don't really, yeah, mm. I don't really understand that. Mm. I don't know if somebody whispered that to him, but it, it, uh, it really sounds like a, a wild goose chase if anybody wants that to happen.